Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, come one, come all and gather round to see the mightiest plane in all of Mother Russia. Now what's actually interesting, and I'm going to ADD out, is we're playing on Spain right now. This is the Balearic Sea. Balearic Bill made techno songs. ADD at its finest. And where are... You know, what are they islands, man? I forgot the damn islands. Balearic Islands? <laughs> is that what they're called? Anyway, why are we here? The Polycarpa Fotu. What the tits? Why am I taking off from the ground? Oh, have Ralph, friend. Look at that. Pose of a feather flock together. We have a lag 335 in here, and I didn't invite him. I want that to be stated for the record. But yesterday, I flew out the Tupolev TB3. Mighty Russian bomber. Very nice. Very fast. It's so fast. I don't have witty thing to follow, so I will leave you at that. But the Polycarpov to Po2, it uh, has rear facing machine gun that he cuts like Russian boar tusk and has bombs that kick like a Mongolian yak. Where are you going, friend? Where's everyone going? We're going the wrong tits way, mother truckers. Let's wing over here and look how how slow we go, man. We're weapon at 110% and we just got over 100 kilometers per hour. But I don't know if Spain is new or not. What the tits? Oh, that guy, I thought he was running into the trees, man. So, <laughs> the funny thing about this plane is trees <laughs> are something you genuinely have to worry about because your speed is so terribly low but the PO2 similar to the Tupolev TB3 which we showed yesterday links in the video description below as well as some PO2 footage this was actually one of the first rare planes that I discovered and um it's awesome man like I remember when I first found it like it was just it was like a kid finding an Easter egg from like three years ago, and it had like a hundred dollars in it. You know what I mean? Exactly. We've all had that situation happen in our lives. But how is this guy faster than me, man? What are you doing? Why do you have to be mad, Cine? Climb. <laughs> you tell me to climb. That's gonna be a problem. Reading the in-game chat. But yeah, I like this plane. I like these derpy, just kind of iconic planes you know historical value like it's just funny if you think about it I would also link the Ho 229 into this category because a lot of people are like oh my god it's a German wonder jet it's gonna kill everything and no that's just not the way it is that thing's made of wood it's got cannons you know it's it's a I think there's a battle rating of around five points something or other so relatively low tiered or low battle ratinged jet if you will and of course you will my god so I'm gonna actually cut commentary at some point and um, I'm gonna fly for about two hours <laughs> I don't know what to do comrades but I like <laughs> look at this this is like let's take a girl up in into the plane you know and just like hey check out this scenery yeah so tonight just wanna I just wanna point this out before I cut some girl grabbed me by the beard and pulled me in to kiss her like that's the first time I've ever had that happen man never underestimate the power of the beard ladies and gentlemen I will get back to you when action is partaking alright ladies and gentlemen we're back um the airfield is like 30 some kilometers away and I'm flying a PO2 so to get across the Balearic Sea right there I don't know man it took forever like and we're heading to looks like a town are we bombing a town is this like Guernica I don't know good old Cine E here is trying to get above the tree line because in the Polycarpov Po 2, three is very dangerous. What are you? Am I? Oh shoot! It's right! It's right here. This is the base. 
All right, we're on a bombing mission. Let's bomb this hangar. Whoa. <laughs> Those last ones were a little off. <laughs> but we supposedly damaged that. Now the plan is Cinny and I here. If we had a third PO2, we could have taken out one of the objectives. Is to go land on the enemy runway, which is relatively close after we pass Cambrils and past the coastal city of Salou. In between Salou and Tarragona, we will find our city. Uh oh. And we gotta keep our heads on a swivel at this point. There's two Po 2s and one friend in a lag versus three enemy planes somewhere. <laughs> and this is interesting, man. The Po 2 is just I think it's a it'd be it's a fun plane for custom battles. And it's a fun plane for maybe arcade mode. But I'm not really sure if it's well suited to most um realistic battle maps. They're just too far. Now I like that they have the map Spain. But if you look how big it is, it's kind of ridiculous. Especially for low tiered planes. Oh gosh. We got we got an incoming, ladies and gentlemen. Cine! Let's form up! Oh my gosh, we're gonna get wrecked by a be a Messer Schmidt here. Actually, I think he's heading for the airfield. I'm not entirely sure. Or he really knows where our weak spot is, and that's anything in the front. Because we only have one rear gunner. Oh gosh. We're in for it now. Oh no, Cinny! Good old Cinny, man. Woods runner here. Just doing these. We gotta get our gunner on, on target. Where's our gunner? Oh my gosh, this is bad. So we're gonna get low. Get low. How low can you go? We can get low. What? What do you mean we suffered a defeat? It ain't over yet, man. I was gonna go land on the airfield and seize it for the Spanish. So, yeah. Let's look at this. 23 minutes. <laughs> And our battle time was 34 seconds. So, that's part of the Po 2. It's just, it's just not the best for, you know, for realistic battles. So we're going to take this bad boy into some arcade. But yeah, I like that there's Spanish Civil War maps. Um, I mean, the Po 2 took place in Cacklin Goal 2. I think for those early tiered um, realistic battle maps, they should be very, very short. I think that would be very good to get players into realistic battles and just to have more enjoyable realistic battles. Especially at low tiers, because low tiered planes, generally slower. Why not have them closer? Get more immediate action! So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Po2 out into arcade mode. And it looks like a good old seize the airfields. So what we're going to try to do is head straight to sea, probably. Oh, yeah. What was interesting about Spain is we didn't get an air spawn as bomber. Very strange. All right. So let's see. They're going to be going for... Sea's going to be contested. we got to use the map because we can't see crap up here. And look at, look at how high we are. It's kind of funny. Oh man, this reminds me. I remember at one point the Chica, and in arcade mode, if you were just diving, you would just plummet to the earth like a meteor. So let's see. We've got. Is that a pre? I saw a premium BF 109 on the enemy team. That's a BF 109 E3. I'm pretty sure. That's weird. Where is he at? Maybe it's on our team? Oh, yeah. Huh. 
I didn't think, I thought tearing up at like everything's pretty low. But the good thing about it is after this, we're gonna get to see some TB3 action. But I just kinda wanna show it off in some other game modes cause I'm showing off the rare planes this week. In the Polikarpov Po2, which I got last Halloween. They had a different Halloween, um, you know, event system. This year it was like, hey, get first through third place in three races and you get it. Which is pretty accessible. And I'm glad that happened. So are there any other Po2s in here? Any other real men flying around? Showing everyone how it's done? Alright, so if anyone goes to land, I can bomb them. But that's about it. That's about all I can do. I'm hoping someone tries to land and retake it, because then I can hit them. Please, Kitty Hawk. Oh gosh, he sees a right po too. Are you already shooting at me? You're so cute. You're so cute. You're just the cutest. Yes, you are. You're just the cutest little Kitty Hawk. All right, who wants to retake it, Lag? Is it you? If it's to be, it's up to you. Someone's gotta take it so I can bomb them. That's gonna be the only way I really get kills, man, reliably. Someone's gonna land and I'm gonna bomb them all. Around all these fighters, man. If I was a fighter, I saw Po2, I'd be like, easy kill, time to go. Dominator mode. We gotta turn around just in case someone is going. We gotta be in prime position to drop the bombs. We must make Uncle Joseph Stolen happy so we don't send to gulags. Who wants it, man? Someone's gotta want it. Oh, this guy wants it. This HE-51 wants it. Oh, they, is that the Hydro? I believe that's a Hydro. Alright. Do a little derp. Please! Yeah! That's right, baby. That's a kill. All right, now we gotta wait 30 seconds and dodge an angry wildcat who looks to be smoking. We're gonna have to be very careful. We're the ripest target that anyone's ever seen, man. Is this guy even, he's, oh, tits. Evasive maneuvers. That's another good thing. You fly a biplane, you're gonna be very maneuverable. All right, seven seconds on bombs. Is anyone else coming in? No one's coming in yet. But, you know, it's kind of a game within a game to basically fly a boat 2 and survive. Oh, we set a hurricane on fire. Hey, friend. <laughs> you mad? <laughs> Probably a little mad. It's all right, man. Just... Oh! Oh, we... that's two planes down with a Po 2. I think we got a backup. Let's take another one in. Let's see what we can do. But, yeah. I mean, the Po-2, it is a gentleman's plane. Only the finest of Cossacks and the Russian nobles fly the Polikarpov to Po-2. But, how are we doing as a team? Yeah, we're going to hover over sea. That's going to be contested. We're just going to dive down. Arcade, you don't have to worry about wings ripping, man. You know? It's arcade mode, baby. That's what it's all about. So, yeah, the Po-2 is interesting in that, you know... It was used during World War II, and there was actually, that was kind of the theme for last Halloween, was the night witches. You know, witches have to do with Halloween, so they're like, hey, there was a squadron called the night witches, and they would fly POTUs, female pilots, and fly over, you know, Germans at night and drop bombs and grenades on them. It was kind of cool because they would cut their engines and then glide over the camps and there would be like a whistling sound and that's how they supposedly got the nickname the night witches but look at that man I'm middle of the table as a po2 you know you're doing a good job for your teammates putting your team on your back hoping you play good oh they just capped it see that the, the big downside of the po2 I think oh my gosh look at all this red is in realistic battle it needs a bombing indicator the fact that it doesn't uh 
is just, it blows my mind. Oh my gosh, po Gladiator, he's probably going to be gone when I get there. But, um, yeah, it's just nuts. Like, why isn't there a, a bombing indicator in realistic? And the speed's tough, but, you know, it's just how it is. No, don't kill my stuff. Don't kill my things. Aw, oh, titty sprinkles, man. I guess we could go in for a cat, but... We're a Po too, baby. Are they gonna try to cap anywhere else? Where's the other airfields? Where's where are they? Oh, someone's to the left. It's a havoc. Is that Chica trying to land? You never know, man. Yeah, we're we're basically waiting for our moments, but. So how many of you did the Halloween challenge and opened up the Po2? And how many of you were brave enough to take it out into... Oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> how many of you were brave enough to take it out into realistic battles? Look at this. This is... This is what you call death. This is what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Who is that? Was that a... No! Pull up! Oh, oh, can we... Nope. Yeah, you're pretty much dead. So we're going to fly at the TB3 for fun. But I want to know which rare plane do you want me to fly out. Uh, let's go with 2400s and just carpet bomb some... Carpet bomb the enemy. We could go over here and just bomb the crap out of this convoy. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to bomb a convoy, baby. But yeah, so what's cool about the TB3 was that it was used for the Zvino project. Which, imagine this. Some Polikarpov I-16s linked to this thing. Like, strutted, like there was these, you know, struts that connected with the other plane. So you could actually use those engines to propel you. And you could use this thing as the mothership. And, you know, fuel and rearm and <laughs> these I-16s are, you know, basically used the I-16s as a sort of you know defense fighters like oh enemies are coming in let's launch these fighters it was an interesting idea you know and this thing's just really freaking slow too Beaufort's going in for a bomb and run Bastin zone eh maybe maybe not maybe go fuck yourself that's a movie from the departed that is a movie from the departed is that what I just said is it yes is that guy on the airfield? Looks like he's flying to me. He looks like he's flying to me. Huh? Forget about it. And that's not even a Boston accent, man. That's like an Italian thing, right? Alright, well, we want to bomb some stuff before this game's over. Yeah, these are planes that are fun, but... <laughs> it, you make, it makes you wonder how viable they are. In, um... <laughs> realistic and even in arcade. Get wrecked, Stuka. You don't want none of this. We're just gonna carpet bomb the tits out of this road. We still have some bombs. Let's see how good we did. Are our bombs even hitting? Oh my god, they're hitting and they're doing absolutely nothing. So we're gonna go after some static targets. Oh my gosh. We're not even gonna make it over there. The game's gonna end. Our team's getting wrecked. Because I'm flying Po 2s and TB 3s. One of one of them's doing some damage in a Key 45. Come on. We gotta get here and drop this bomb. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. Maybe it'll happen as the game ends. The timing is not with us. Ha ha ha! Bomb it! Blow it up! Look at that carpet bombing. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Po 2. It's a fun novelty plane, but will you really fly it out very often? No. Unless you join me in my streams when we do custom battles, because the Po 2 is a very fun thing. So there's our surprise. We bombed someone on the airfield and shot someone down. I'd say, given our lineup, that's not a bad thing. Look at that. Two kills with a Po 2. How you like me now, interwebs? Anyway, make sure to give this video some love. Give it a like, and if you thought it was fun or have some friends in the Po 2, make sure to share with them and bring them into War Thunder, where we can have epic battles 
and let me know which rare plane you'd like me to fly next.